Hi, Casper on the 10th of February 2020. You know, I do secretly hope that when we send out these daily drink of wines to people's doors, that they open the box sometimes and pull out a bottle and think, oh no, what on earth have we been sent here? Um, and then win people around by the sheer quality of what's in the bottle. And I think we have found wines like that. And um, I think this wine's really going to do exactly that. So this is a, wait for it, a Retzina. I know, I know, all the stories and, and uh, you know, we all, we all remember drinking Retzina in Greece on holiday and quite enjoying it and then trying it back in England and thinking, oh my goodness me, what was I thinking of? But you know, it's it's one of the wines that's had a, a renaissance and people are trying to make good examples. You know, tree resin has been added to wine to stabilize it for thousands of years. And um, now I think it's it's just a cultural thing really that people want to carry on that, that, that culture of um, sort of blast from the past. So this is um, actually a, a non-vintage wine um, from the fabulous winery Tetra Mythos um, and uh, I think we are looking at, I'm going to have to look at the bottle, I think we are looking at Roditis, 100% Roditis grapes um, and we have sent out a Roditis before uh, and I think for a Tetra Mythos one, um, to Daily Drinker uh, members and very fabulous it was as well. So this is an old vintage wine fermented in Anfori from wild yeasts and um, yeah, to which pine resin has been added. And I am looking at a beautifully pale sort of white gold colour wine, lovely clear thing in the in the glass. And um, on the nose I get a touch of sort of cold ferment about it actually, which is which is odd. Almost a bit of pear drop, sort of pear fruit, sweet, flowery apples. So far so so normal really, a, a touch of sort of um, sugared almond. And the palette sort of continues that theme, but quite quickly, a faint wisp of pine forest appears. And it's not really any more than the wisp, and it becomes drier still, and, and then almost a touch tannic, actually, the wine. Um, it's got, got decent length and, and very nice freshness. Real persistence and a, that slightly earthy, tannic character at the, at the core. Nicely fresh wine. It's beautifully clean, and 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 you know, it's it's that pine influence isn't too in your face. It's it's a very subtle sort of whisper in the background. The most unusual wine is it's a food wine. I would have this with salads or um, or or oily fish. Um, but I think it's an absolute fascination. And this is really, you know, totally the modern phase of Greek wine. Um, Greek wine making has, has been pulled up by its bootstraps in the last 15, 20 years. And they're producing these modern, clean, exciting examples. And um, how lovely again to have a Roditis in my glass, but also a Retzina, because gosh, that doesn't happen very often, does it? So look, that, that is a daily drink of wine. I don't know if people will taste it and drink it and then order any of it or just simply go, wow, that's pretty extraordinary. That's a red scene and I don't mind it. But daily drink is supposed to be about education and, and this is, that's what this is. You know, this is, this is what red Cena has become. So I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, the daily drink of members will be receiving this and please treat it uh, with an open mind, open open the bottle with your mind, ready for um, ready to be educated, and I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it. So there we are. That's been a non-vintage uh, Retzina made from the grape. Roditis.
from the rather fabulous firm of Tetramethos, but I, I hope you like it.